oh my, I want to take my photos. Let me go ahead and out and take nice, cute photos of my baby and my wife. Let me do that. Oh. Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Greg here. Hopefully you're well. Um, here we have this Ulanzi MT36 flexible tripod. Now, um, if you've ever had a Joby tripod, I'll just say this early and get this out of the way. Yeah, those are crap. These are better. Uh, the reason why these are better is because every single Joby tripod that I've ever used, these in particular, they break. The joints, they fall off almost immediately. Um, every one I've had, maybe four or five months, they break. Are they good? Absolutely. Are they expensive? Absolutely. Are they bad? Not really, but if you don't want to risk just dealing with this crap with the joints breaking off and not being able to use it in every single situation that you want, yeah, no. Look, let's talk about this one. So, Yulanzi's MT36 camera tripod. Um, clearly, my background noise, people like riding bikes. But basically, the Yulanzi MT36 camera tripod costs $42.95 on Amazon. Now, this flexible tripod, if we look at it right now, you have this box, it's pretty simple. Um, I noticed that they changed the box from their previous models. Um, this does say it's multi-compatible, has a quick install, and it's flexible. The flexible tripod itself, when you unbox it, as you can see, the tripod itself comes together. They're starting to simplify things because I think they're getting a little bit more popular. Um, just like Joby and other tripods, like people are picking these up more and they're starting to look a whole lot more streamlined, which I'm enjoying. So, as you can see, you take this out of the box, it looks pretty simple. It does have that, you know, rotating ball head. It has a hinge right here so you can attach like a camera, a light or something like that, or some third party accessory that you decide you want to use. Um, what's missing from this one that was on a previous one that I had is the actual photo mount. This is what it looks like. Yeah, it's pretty nice, pretty sturdy. Um, it bends in all types of positions. As you can see, it will like hold up on a tree maybe on like a fence or something like that if you need to take photography that way. It, it, it feels really sturdy in the hand. You notice how this says F38, right? So if it's F38, what is this? Now let's compare this to the previous model. So this is the MT32. MT32, we're just gonna call this one the F38. That's what it says, this is what it is. So compared to these, it looks a whole lot slimmer. The ball head, it moves a little bit easier, which is nice. I noticed compared to the older model with the MT32 and this F38 slash MT36, this right here is a lot thinner, smaller in size. Looks a little bit better too. I like the fact that the previous model does have grip. This one doesn't, it's a little bit more like rigid, but that's fine. This button here is not present. On here so there's a button that will allow you to tighten it that doesn't have a tightener which is I don't like that I don't like that doesn't have a tightener anymore this one probably wow that they might be taking a step back they may be taking a step back because I like th this one I like this one still um never had a review where I was supposed to praise the product and I ended up liking the previous model this one looks worse like I like the all black aesthetic of this but I like the fact that the buttons and the features are a little bit more functional and easy to touch like if I'm out in the field and I'm using this like this one just feels easy I can do it with one hand boom this one I do this and it's like maybe maybe then I'm dealing with the ball head and all that it's, it's just weird the ball head is significantly smaller if you can look on the camera clearly it's smaller this where you actually can hold your camera much larger than this new model and then the name is wrong. What, what is? Come on, like let's let's get it together. Let's get this crap together. Um, Yulanzi, I, I want to review this, but first I want you to just like update me on exactly what the hell this name is. Is it the MT36 or is it the the F38? Let me know. Now the reason I said earlier that I liked this one over this one is because there's a model that is also ironically called the damn MT33. Now this is the one I told you about that had the nice like fold out so you can actually use your phone. So Joby's have this where you can fold it out, boom. And you can use your like phone as a camera or something like that. You're out in the field, boom, I can 
just do what I want to do, shoot photos, videos, and things like that from my phone. When I get tired of using my phone or I need to charge it, you know what I can do? Boom. Fold it like this, put it back. There's a nice little hinge on the inside that will let you do that. Um, clearly, I'm not doing it right on camera, but you know, stuff happens. Boom, there we go. So now that that is together, you can do this, connect your camera, and now you can use it as a, you know, a camera tripod. What was supposed to be a review of the MT36, now it is a review of all three of these Ulanzis. Now, notice the MT32 and the MT33 both look similar. Um, if we zoom in, both of them look almost the same. The difference between these two is the fact that this one here does not have the camera on. So you cannot flip this up in order to actually take photos with your phone. So boom, there's that. I like this. I, I'm really fond of this one. And it even has this which you can connect another third party like accessory, a camera, a battery pack, something like that. You can connect that. I like that. That doesn't have it unfortunately here with this F38 slash MT36. Not too fond of it right now. Um, they took features away. They made it more streamlined, but they, they took away key components that I really liked from the previous model. So with that being said, we're going to take this out and field and see if it's actually pretty good how it would work with actually using a cell phone. So I have my iPhone 12 Pro Max here. And we have the Ulanzi MT33. So as you can tell, it can bend in all types of directions. I can sit it flat on a table. I can honestly put it around a chair like here. I can just do anything I want to with it. And I do enjoy that. So basically what I'll show you is what happens with the phone mount. So if you look here, there is a nice little lever that you pull out pull forward and then you can pull up once you pull up it looks like this so all you have to do is take your phone open it up put it in as you can see you can use your phone as you know tripod stand as well so then when you're recording out in the field or if you just want to record yourself with FaceTime or something like that you can place it face down and you can see it this way let's just go do a brief overview of what it looks like with me holding the camera the tripod actually laying as flat as it can possibly go which looks pretty nice I like the fact that the mount itself does still come with an extra shoe so you can attach something else if you wanted to you know as it's in the camera mode with the phone so you can have your phone here and you can still use this for light for like your loom cube or something like that or for me if I'm outside I can usually use a windscreen or something like that I just didn't do it previously I really do like this Ulanzi MT33, I like the fact that I can place it anywhere in my house and outside as well, and it will combine with it. Um, I'm using the MT33 Ulanzi tripod, and as you can see, I'm laying the legs as even and straight as I can possibly do it, just to show you what they would look like if they were straight. Um, but using this chair, obviously has multiple holes. If I want to get a different angle for a video, say like B-roll, I can easily attach it to whatever I want to and it'll attach without moving. So in this case, I'm attaching it to two different legs. As you see, it's falling down, that shouldn't do that. But the tighter you make the item, it will actually stay put. So clearly I'm not doing it right, just so I can prove the point uh, up here. Um, I can attach this here, boom, stay still. I can attach it upside down as well same situation and it'll do the exact same thing what I like this more than Joby absolutely the Joby one that I had before the issue with that one is the ball joints these do not have ball joints the tripod itself can go completely in another direction it can go straight it can go down, it can go to the sides, it can loop around the other ones, which I really enjoy. Joby didn't have that with their tripods. And this is pretty much why I will probably only use the Ulanzi brand going forward, because they put out so many. They have this one that has the camera and the phone, which I enjoy this one. I'll probably stick with this one forever. But I will probably buy a second one so I can stop using the Manfrotto, which is currently housing my Sony ZV-1 which I'm recording with now. So that being said, 
This is my review of the Yuanzi MT33 tripod. Hopefully you guys go and purchase one for yourself. But if you do, let me know down in the comments. Also feel free to like and subscribe to this, com to this comment, to this video, to this review, all of that. And until next episode, we'll see you.